guys welcome to diamond thursday ko crafts with kelly today i'm going to do two things i'm going to talk about the painting i'm working on for drills and chills and then i'm going to do an unboxing um but the reason i want to talk about this is i wanted to show you the importance of paying a little more for your diamond paintings um i know a lot of people don't like to, and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to tell you, show you the difference. This one is diamondpainting.com. It's one of the first few that I bought when I first started diamond painting, so I went cheap in case I didn't like it. Um, now, as you can see, the colors of the diamonds are beautiful. The picture is going to be beautiful. So that's a plus it's going to be great the colors are vibrant um they're looking they're looking great um the problem i'm having is a couple the quality of the canvas it's poured or it's um double-sided tape which i don't like but it's also got creases in it which is going to cause problems with the diamonds coming off and these creases do not come out of double-sided tape. Um, you don't have that with poured glue. So I always try to get poured glue. The other thing I'm having, let me get these in my hand so I can show you. And I'm sorry, I'm using a different setup today because I could not get my other uh, camera holder to work. But a lot, I have a lot of what we call garbage. And I'm going to come up close here and see if I can show this to you. These are garbage. Okay. As you can see, I've got a round one. Hold on. I'm going to get something to point with. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> As you can see, this one has got protruding pieces, as does that as does that, that one's around. Um, I expect this out of, I expect some out of every painting. I mean, it's just gonna happen. This one seems to have an extra bunch. So the drills are not quality. Um, they're also not the same size, which also causes problems. Um, you're gonna, you know, you get gaps and stuff. So I'm kind of picking through right now, hoping I have enough to um, do what, you know, to do the whole painting and not have too big a gaps. So right now it's doing really well. Um, I've not had any issues with popping drills, which is good, um, but you know, we'll see. So that is how that works. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm very happy with the colors and the way the painting's turning out. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. So, okay, I'm going to get this put away and I'm going to get out the unboxing and I'll be right. Okay. So we're going to, this is take two. First time my camera shut off. So hopefully we go. Um, this is the one that I'm unboxing today. It is called Christmas in town at town square. It is a Chuck Pinson, which is my absolute favorite. It is a Diamond Art Club, which is also my absolute favorite company. Um, I'm hoping to do a collaboration with another artist on this for Christmas. We'll see. Um, so everything is out of the box because I've already done this once. So you get your typical um, kit, you get a clear tray, blue pen with a squishy, some bags, some plastic and a five or six placer. I don't use placers, I can't use them. It's a mess when I try to, I've tried. So I am a single placer. So it does take me longer to do projects, but it's okay, because I enjoy it, so it's fun. You also get a booklet that has a 10% coupon in it for your next purchase, which I will be using soon. Then you have your canvas. The canvas on these is very high quality. It is poured glue. Therefore, you can roll it the other way to get it to lay flat. Um, I usually lay it flat, or uh, now that I've opened it, I will hang it. I usually use those 
hangers that you get at the store with the little clippies on it. I use two, one on each side. Um, turn it around so you guys can see it. One way you can tell this is pour glue is the clear plastic. And you can pull it back and that will also help it lay flat. Um, I usually take the, I don't like the clear plastic, it messes with me, so I take it off and I put um, these little paper squares down. And then that way I can take up just a little bit and, and work with it. So um, I'm going to come around here and so I can see what you're seeing. So as you can see, the drill field is very clear, very amazing, very easy to read, very easy to read. I love working on these. Um, it has, I forget. Uh, it is square, which square is my favorite. And I think it has like 49 or 50 colors. Uh, it doesn't tell me. I can count real quick. Oh, here we go. 42 colors. And you get your scheme on each side. And I, I can't wait to start this. I am going to do this at Christmas, whether we do the collaboration or not, because I'm excited. I love Chuck Pinson. So, um... These are the beads. I'm going to turn this over so you can see better. You also get this, which is a sticker. So you can cut these and put them on your squares. You can put this on the top um, of your tray, like I did for this one when I did this Chuck Pinson one. Um, that way you can tell. Because like right now, I have three kitted up. And this will be a fourth one. Come Christmas time. So let's look at some of the drills. Because these drills are so amazing. They're, I very seldom have trouble with these drills. Yes, you get a little bit of trash, but, you know, nothing huge. Okay. I'm going to come over here so you can see a little bit better what we have. Look at how shiny these drills are. They very seldom have any garbage in them, um, anything like that. They're just vibrant, sorry, <laughs> vibrant colors. Um, just amazing. You always get plenty of them. Look at this red. I love this red. So amazing. Now this, I'm gonna, I probably will try to order some ABs in that color just because it's, I want to make it pop. And speaking of ABs, we have these, which hopefully see the sparkle and it just kind of got a little bit more radiant to it. And that's going to be amazing. Look at these ABs. Look at that sparkle and shine and that prism of color. Whew. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, I don't think, I think those are the only two ABs. Oh, no. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? So, yes, I'm definitely going to try and get me the, the red ones because I want to try and use that last year I tried to get some and they were sold out because I waited too long so I will definitely not wait that long this time so um yes but here is what the finished picture is going to look like isn't that fantastic oh I can't wait I want to kit it up and go now but I do have to finish my drills and chills first so I hope you enjoyed this um hopefully it works well for us <laughs> camera wise and um, I will talk to you later. God bless and have a great weekend.